we have so much information i'm back and forth with the gaming channel with the main channel like getting myself ready for twitch tonight i think i'm gonna start doing my multi-streaming on my gaming channel and twitch so that way we could like really like get you know have some fun on both sides with both audiences i think it's gonna be amazing but i do want to say before we get started shout out to y'all thank y'all for the 50k on the youtube channel like for me that's like a million and the reason why i say that is because eight to ten years of dabbling back and forth with content and having my highs and my lows and my highs and my lows you know this is probably the most consistent i've ever been with youtube and twitch and just seeing that literally if you it's same thing with weight loss bro if you just fucking stick to it you're gonna see results and even during days i don't get the biggest or most views i'm still excited to see and to see you know you guys in the comment section you know i don't care i see 10 to 20 plus comments that shit makes me so happy to see that y'all are really engaged with it like thank you guys so much that shit means so much to me that's the world so you know with that being said we also want to make sure that we kick up this channel now with all of the content such as this that we're bringing to you today and what better way than to discuss what the rock has called a lot of people in the world cody crybabies now there's some depth to this there's some context to this and what has happened today making sure we're good what has happened today was that the rock joins the pat mcafee show earlier and was discussing just many different topics but one of them was addressing the situation of him fighting roman reigns and if him not letting cody finish his story and just everything and if you look at tweets and the sources the comment section is just never happy it's just never a positive thing and they make the context of what the rock did as bad and they make it seem like he fell off now since 2003 they make it seem like his career was carried through just promos and you know what let me just break this down for a football player <clears throat> we honestly give them their flowers off of their contribution on the field you know and everything they've done for the position that they played in the role that they played on the team with wrestling everything is accounted for how you perform in the ring how, how you perform on the mic your whole pers persona in wrestling is what really carries you to be for the long run the rock to me always had a solid wrestling game but his promos and everything he has done to surround stories have been excellent it's why yes he's where he's at now and of course the hollywood scene so for people to be like his promos is what really carried him yeah some people need paul Heyman. some people might need other things some people are great on the mic and can't wrestle some people are the best wrestlers in the world and they can't talk on the mic Look at Matt and Jeff Hardy. I literally can recall a one, like one liners from Jeff Hardy, but I love seeing him perform in the ring. But Matt Hardy, he could perform, but he can also talk on the mic. So like people got their way of going about shit and it's just, it's just trash. Cause at the end of the day, y'all, it's fucking wrestling. I went off on the rock like, yo, I can't believe you're doing this. And it's not because I don't want to see the rock wrestle unless he was active and then it could build up my excitement for it no, i was excited for cody and roman because they've been active there's a lot of things going on but at the end of the day some people are just showing their weird fucking sides and it's like ah like ah, it's just trash but let's really get to it so the rock addressed the everything that's been going on and he referred to everyone as cody fans the rock fans wwe fans and cody crybabies and i'm gonna sit here and say for context cody crybabies are the people who death threats who the people who say weird shit try to stalk you dox you it can be anything or those who you know they harassed his daughter and those who are like crying about him finishing his story which the crying about finishing the story is okay it's about not only saying that but then wishing death upon somebody and really taking it way further than what it where it should be you know what i'm saying so the rock addresses them and shout out to russell ops they tweeted the rock says this those Cody crybabies, the ones every 10 tweets, they're shoving chicken nuggets in their mouth. Every 20 tweets, they're shoving two McNuggets up their ass. All you gotta do is sit back, know your role, and shut your mouth and enjoy the ride. The Rock is gonna take your candy asses on. So hashtag that. Hashtag shut your bitches, your bitch asses up. Hashtag Cody crybabies, yeah. That's what he said in the Pat McAfee show. He also proceeds on to say, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, we know it. Roman, Roman Reigns knows it. Cody Rhodes know it. And his fans know it. The Rock versus Roman Reigns is the capital T, capital H, capital E, the biggest main event in WrestleMania history. Um, he's not wrong about that. And I'll end it there. They all know it. But here's the thing. The Rock is also stating during this during this podcast with Pat McAfee show 
that Cody will be ending his story. He will be finishing his story. And first and foremost, you know, him cutting promo, he is saying that he's getting ready, ring ready, all this that's going on, which is great to see. Um, I also love seeing the fact that they announced that CM Punk and Biggie Langston was gonna join Pat McAfee and Michael Cole for today's press at seven. I love seeing the fact that CM Punk can still have a little bit of humility in him to be on the side of a fan and wrestle and still be a wrestler at the end of the day. And also when he's in ring, he can be that serious shit talker on the mic. I love that shit, man. You know, like it's, see, it's good to see him return like that. It just sucks that he had to hit, get hit with this injury. But let me just break this. I got an idea and I got a feeling, I think I know what's gonna happen because multiple sources are saying that Cody Rhodes will finish his story. I think because believe it or not, Seth Rollins in this title, I, it's so crazy. I didn't hear that much buzz throughout the year after he obtained that title. But you know what? There's a chance they're gonna try to do promo. And since Roman Reigns is acting like he's the guy, they're gonna say, you have to verse Cody for the championship belt that night for the probably WrestleMania night one. But The Rock is like, I want you night two. And to be very honest, I'm not gonna complain there. There's so many wrestlers right now, superstars that can main event WrestleMania. Absolutely. I mean, every match in its own respects, it should be considered as a main event because you're at WrestleMania. That whole shit is a main event. But I feel like they're gonna have the Rock and Roman fight either night one or night two. And I don't know which night it's gonna be. That's my prediction. And I feel like it's just gonna be a fight for family lineage or just for the family, the whole thing and just disrespecting bloodline and just all that shit. So he's gonna get his one-offs there. And they're gonna have this back and forth feud. And it doesn't have to deal with a title belt. I mean, unless I'm, I'm seeing reports that the Rock wants a title, then I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. But I feel like Cody Rhodes is also going to get his shot at that title against Roman. Or we might see something related to the Elimination Chamber. Again, I can be wrong. It's okay to have a discussion. That's the whole point. But I feel like that's what's going to happen. And I I don't know. I feel like it's... We've seen like Trick Williams. He, he fought twice in a pay-per-view. Just came off of the Royal Rumble. Did that like... that? I think it's possible. I just think... You know, Roman's gonna have to, if there is two matches for Roman and he's fighting night one, night two, however it's gonna pan out, however it pans out, they're gonna have to go in and make sure that this man is ring ready. But I also don't want a lackluster match. You know, I don't want a lackluster match. Um, As far as The Rock goes, yeah, he's old. You know, we talked to shit, man, you old, oh, we don't wanna see you in the ring. If he performs at such a high rate, if he performs, if it's an excellent match, also, if it's still granted that Cody can have the opportunity to still finish his story and do his thing first with Roman and then the family thing can go back and forth, I feel like that'll be great. And it can cause such a great feud for the WWE because to be honest, as soon as Roman does lose this title, what actually happens? Like, or is Cody gonna wanna go up against Roman for the title? He just wants to fight. You see, there's so much that's gonna happen, but we can tune in at 7 p.m. and be reacted to it all that we could discuss it there's just so much that's going on i can go on for days and look up some of the news that's been that's gonna happen triple h is already saying that this is gonna be huge um there's a lot like and there's just too much confidence and i wouldn't necessarily say that the rock is playing heel because it's not like he's like he's not like shitting on the fans he's really just addressing like those weirdos like the weirdos honestly but um if it was where he was playing heel he wouldn't be hugging up uh, fucking Cody Rhodes. He wouldn't be trying to say hey to his fans and shit like that. He would have cut some heel promo. So I know certain things had to be a work. I feel like Cody Rhodes thing was a work, but I still also feel like a lot of things were switched up because of the uh, the bad feedback that they have received from the fans. And there's just a lot going on. I mean, shit. Look at the Undertaker. Man, he's in Saudi Arabia over here showing the trophy and everything with his his theme song. That shit's amazing. And shout out to Saudi. They really out here, real deal, love WWE. So there's going to be so many things going back, going back and forth. Um, now, I'm going to read this part right here. And what Russell Ops also tweeted out in quotes of The Rock in the Pat Mac during the Pat McAfee show was, I expected, I expected, we expected it because it's right there. And you go back and again, and you look to think, hey, I got my finger on the pulse. We all have to try and keep our fingers on the pulse. Ultimately, what the fans want and what they're saying are oftentimes in sports and entertainment. Entertainment anywhere is the wave of noise right now out the gate. 
that you just want to be a pause, a pause for a second. Let's not make any rash decisions. Let's wait and see how it all shakes out and see what happens from there. So just a matter of waiting, which already says, even though he, the rock went out there, remember, he never actually said, I'm going to fight you at WrestleMania. But he absolutely said, I want to be head of the table. You know what I mean? Head of the table was great because there's two different versions and context behind it. Of course, his position now. And of course, him wanting to take that away from Roman. Um, he also said, let's wait and see how it all shakes out and see what happens. It's a matter of waiting. Um, so now was not was not surprised at it. Did expected it, but what's the fun part? Love Cody, love his passionate fans. Then there's other passionate Cody fans, and they're called the Cody Crybabies. These are grown ass men. Cody's got to finish his story. It's like, wait a second, hold on. Hey, Dad, you want to go outside and, and play catch with me? Not now. Cody's got to finish his story, and I'm upset. The wife comes in and says, Hey, honey, you want to have sex? No, not now. Cody's got to finish his story. That right there had me in tears. You know why? Because that's the whole point of, of where the, I want to separate myself from fans like that. You got people who do the most craziest shit and you really sit and wonder, like he said it in the more professional way. For me, it's more like, damn, do you not get pussy? Like relax, it's wrestling. The whole point is I'm looking for things to pan out and I'm trying to look for wow moments. And yeah, sometimes we are not happy with the decisions that are made. We are not happy, but sometimes we got to let shit just pan out. And it's just weird as fuck. If you sit here and say, I'm not watching wrestling no more. How many times have we watched a pay-per-view and matches did not execute the way they should have been. And it's been trash. Come on now, but I don't want to keep rambling on. It's been too many minutes, but listen, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with this? Do you feel like there's going to be two matches? What do you guys think before it becomes 7 PM? Join my Twitch channel, 3MG Live on Twitch, and we can discuss it more, but I'm gonna be doing my reactions at seven. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for helping me hit fucking 50,000 subs on YouTube. Y'all don't understand, that's a million to me. I don't give a fuck. Nobody gonna take that from me, all right? I don't care, yo. It's been a fun ass ride. We got a bunch of different games we're gonna be dabbling into. We got a bunch of wrestling content on the gaming channel as well, but I wanna say it again. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.